Hi there, it's Nate at High Touch. Today, I'm gonna to take you through three different ways that campaign intelligence can make it really easy for marketers to find answers to all their questions. So let's dive in. Right now, I'm gonna use campaign intelligence to ask some questions of my data, starting by asking which of my campaigns led to the most purchases last week. This will query my data warehouse directly. All right, I've got results. Looks like of the campaigns that I had named, the abandoned cart was the best one. Clearly, I see a lot of no value options though, so now I'm gonna look for other properties I could slice my data by besides campaign name. From our warehouse, we've got other ideas for fields that we could slice this data by. For the next example, I'll take a closer look at UTM source. And this time, rather than looking at conversions, I'll look at homepage visits just to show a different metric in action. Um, and rather than just looking in aggregate, I'll break this down over time so we can see if we can see a trend line. Great, so now I can see my homepage visits by UTM source over time, how that changed over the last week. Here's a view of an experiment I ran that I'm now measuring in campaign intelligence. I can see clearly that my treatment group drove more conversions than my holdout group. I can also look at results over time and look at certain days to see what happened within each campaign and also see this in a tabular view in addition to the chart above. If I want to measure different metrics to make sure my experiment didn't have any unintended consequences, I can easily select those or define new ones. For example, rather than looking at the number of transactions, I can look at the number of offers claimed to make sure that my experiment still won on that particular metric as well. All right, here I'm gonna build a custom funnel from scratch. I'll start by choosing the metrics I care about in my funnel. So maybe let's say that my funnel starts when I send a customer an email. Next, I wanna see how many of them clicked that email. And finally, maybe I wanna see how many of them actually went ahead and added an item to their cart. So now I can see, you know, of the people who sent my email, this is the percent and the numbers of folks who went ahead and clicked that email. And here's the number and percent of users who went ahead and added something to their cart. Now I'm looking at this for all of my customers right now. I could also break this down by multiple audiences. So I could compare my high LTV users to maybe my medium LTV users. So here in green, I have my medium LTV users, and in purple, I have my high LTV users. So as you might expect, my high LTV users performed slightly better throughout this funnel than my medium LTV users did.